All right, I'm on the Supreme Team build here. Um, first thing I do to make sure I'm not using up any resources is to exit out of emulation station. So quit emulation station. Yes, I want to quit. Got my keyboard ready. I go to CD, Richard Pie, slash ROM, slash ports. And then dot forward slash capital KD tab and so we're going to the desktop. Yes, you can go within the GUI or if you want to, but to me, this is the best way to uh, make sure you're using less resources. Um, so, the main thing was I've shown you a video where I was using the x86, x64 version of Steam, and um, I have now finally got the actual steam app that's designed and built for arm 64 installed um, i will show you um, the file right here it's the steam underscore latest dot deb so a dev file for debian and we are on even though i'm using the kde gui this is debian bookworm okay so um let's just uh console and you see here um man, does it say debian bookworm in here no it's all right it's the raspberry pi OS anyway so um if i go to games i don't think it's in here but i did install portal which is cool but um so i'm gonna have to make a shortcut board or something but in the meantime i type in console into the this and I type in Steam and now I'm getting the loading the Debian version of Steam not the x86 version this means it's running natively on the software and on the hardware I'm not emulating anything on this with this particular version and it runs so much better um, it takes a little bit to load and I don't think that's an issue um, the other one, you know, depending on how good your PC is, but it navigates really well, and there are a handful of games that, not a lot, but some of them that will run natively on here, but otherwise, I'm able to uh, stream any Steam games that are installed on my PC over to this. This is sideways. I'm going to put my camera on this trap a little bit. Maybe I'm just being picky. Yeah, whatever. All right. So and I want to leave this running so that you can see um, how long it might take if that's upsetting or not. But the thing is, once it does get up and running, then now I have to leave this window. Oops, I minimize it. I have to leave this window open, but I'm going to minimize it to get it out of it. There we go. So now our steam is coming up. And it's snappy, and I can right now it's loading. You see the spinning here, it's loading like some more of the pictures and more of the stuff down here. So if I go over to my library, now I have the full Steam. Um, I think right now I have like two games maybe installed on here physically and it'll show that this is saying play instead of stream and it says on this computer so I haven't actually started up this game yet but I can show you is it installed sorry I'm on there so Hollow Knight allows you to do both so you can say I'd like to play it on this computer and install it, or you can say I'd like to stream it from my my PC. So it's really cool. Um, when I played it, uh, it's set on. There's a checkbox set right next to it, so that means when I click play, it will run on here and not run on my PC. And the fun part is is trying to figure out. What, uh, what games can I can I install on the Raspberry Pi Five? But then again, 
what games actually run well or can run at all on it natively. So I'm using uh, basically just a Xbox One controller uh, wired. Um, obviously, I can install um, uh, any kind of Bluetooth via that I'm in the desktop, and it's way easier to get Bluetooth to work. So. guys will just have to, you know, kind of give your opinion on whether or not um, you think that, um, let's rotate this, you can see the little load icon down here, right there. I can use the analog stick or the digital pad. So, I mean, here it gives you an idea of what it looks like and everything. I'm going to go down to quit. Are sure you want to quit? Yes. And the cool thing was it downloaded my cloud save file, which is not very big on here. I think I've played it more on my Nintendo Switch than I have uh, on my PC, even though I purchased it. So... It. Yes. And then, not to make this too much longer, um, I just want to show. Uh, so it's a good game. Let's stream something cool. Yeah, I guess. Oh, the other thing I guess I could show you real quick is that, you know, I've tried using the Wii U um, emulator on here, even using like uh, Box64 or Wine64, but, you know, it's just not quite, um, it's not able to pass the graphics. That it loads the game and you can hear it playing. But it won't play. So, what I did is I have the emulator set up over here. I made a copy of my own game from my Wii U, which I love. And then I'm going to launch it from here and see how it plays or if it passes through properly with my controller and all. Um, okay. If you ever played this before, it does take it a minute to finish loading it. And there we go. Unfortunately, it's not passing the controls through at the moment. For some reason, I wonder if I can hit keyboard. And then I can go with the mouse. I'm using my mouse right here to inputs. And yeah, all that's right. I streamed Street Fighter, which you guys probably see on here. Um, let's see. Look there, it's actually using the. Everything should be going good, but it's not. Let's go full screen and see if that makes any difference. Oh, well, that did. So if I hold the back button down, it tells me that this is virtual control. 
Orleans. If you hear any weird noises, my dogs have decided to come up here. So anyway, I hold the back button down and then I can exit out of here and we'll have to figure out the um, <laughs> but lastly we can find something cool to uh, play here alright so they're insisting on hello hello Alright, so it does play and it will probably play really well. I just gotta figure out the controls issue. Um, you know what I think might be cool to show you that how good it works, and it's a really cool game too. We'll go up here to Darius. And if you guys haven't seen this. Okay, so this is the screen I need to see. I can, so, resolution's like crazy. I don't think we need that. I don't even know if this TV would do that. Huh? I think 1920 by 1280. Let's do that at the moment. Yeah. Alright, my controller is working. This is the arcade version of this game that's been put on to Steam. Original mode, default, PZ. Um, you can play four players. It'd be cool to try, you know. Four players on a Pi. Of course, I'm just streaming it, so it's really playing off my computer. Alright, let's hit go.